everybody. Uh, welcome to the October uh, card showcase. I'm sorry this is a few days late. I've had a rough couple days. I had um, two craft shows, cards, and my allergies kicked up. I feel like I've got uh, a sexy voice today. I just uh, I'm so congested. So I apologize. I sound a little um, off, but I'm going to get through this because I really want to share these. They are so cool. You guys did such a great job with them. Our theme for October was trees. Um, if this is your f first time joining us, we have a theme every month. Um, October's was trees. Our theme for November is Christmas. Our theme for December is snowflakes. Um, you just make one card um, according to the theme. You can use anything you want. Um, you can use any medium you want, any supplies you want. Um, the point is to use what you have and just be creative. You send it to this address here. And then at the end of the month, I make a video of all the cards, show you all the awesomeness. And then I mix them all up and then I send them back to you. And to help cover the postage, you guys either send a self-addressed envelope or a dollar. And then you get a card back. And so without um, wasting any more time, let me show you some. Now, I do have one card that showed up really, 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 really late from September. I don't know what happened, but it got lost in the mail somewhere and it finally made it here like two weeks late and it's from Bonnie and the ironic thing is she lives right here in Paint and Post so I don't know what happened but it did so Bonnie I'm gonna send you a Halloween card because obviously I've swapped all the cards out I'll just find one in my stash and I'll swap it out for you but what a really cool Halloween card um it, I love the little die cut witch she popped this up look at that and she's used an embossing folder and um she's looks like she took some white ink and she sponged it on the embossing folder and like kind of makes it look like this foggy like spooky background in the back it's really really neat the way she did it um i like that a lot and she's focused used a triangle to like make the focal point on the witch and the cat so that's really cool with the halloween as, as the title so really really neat at the top and on the inside she has her traditional her um, signature sponging on the inside and it says sending bugs and hisses and Halloween wishes and a pumpkin die cut so very nice Bonnie and like I said I'll just I'll find you a Halloween card out of my stash and I'll send you one or a fall card um, and and get that too I don't know why it took it arrived like I don't know like two or three weeks after I made the video so it was not that long ago I got this in the mail so maybe the post office wanted to hang it up in there at, for, for a while so they could enjoy it I don't know but it did take quite a while to get here but it's here now and I will swap that out so let's get on to some tree cards this first one is from Beth Nash and this is really neat um I think this is a Stampin' Up set I think, I don't know, they where you can, like, take little elements and, like, build a scene. And I love this little, like, rocky, like, shoreline. It's just, it's really cool. I like the, um, it's a, it's a good masculine card. It's just a really cool, like, calming, um, scene to it. And, you know, obviously there's very trees and wilderness and very, very nice. Um, I, it, you know, she's used the stamps to just build all of these little parts together. So it's really nice and versatile because you can build any scene that you want. And I love that this came out of her imagination and she's got this little this little little place living in her head that she's shared with us. And I love it. I love the sun's mirroring in the water or reflecting in the water and little seagulls. It's very, very nice. And maybe, um, you know, she's used um, sponging to create this like sunset or stormy sky. Again, very, very nice. And on the inside, she's left it blank. It's very, very nice, very calming. I, and I, you know, it can be used for anything because there's no sentiment on it whatsoever. So you can use it for whatever, um, whatever thing you want. You could add a happy birthday or just leave it as a thinking of you. So very nice, Beth. Thank you so much for sharing that. Next up is a card, and I believe this is from Tammy. And the first thing that grabs you, and it's probably not going to be something you can see, is that she's covered these birds with Wink of Stella and they just shimmer like crazy and this is one of the new sets from Stampin' Up! and I keep saying I'm not going to get it I'm not going to get it but you guys keep showing me really cool examples with this and it makes me want the set it's very very cute I love it um 
So she has die cut these birds out of decorative paper so she didn't have to color them. So it's a really nice, fast way to make cards. And she's added that Wink of Stella to them. Does that, I wish that, I don't know if that shows up or not, but gosh, it is so pretty. And then I think these die cuts are also part of the set, or at least this green one is. And then there's a tree die cut in the background. So it's created this like dimensional forest that you're kind of like looking through. So you've got these two little happy birds living in their little forest home and they're just having a great old time there. Um, they're, they're thinking of you always. Isn't that really sweet? I love it. I love that dimensional thing. The, one of my favorite things about this is that she's taken the same die cut and cut it in two different colors and layered it. It really adds depth. Um, it's a very simple thing, but it's added a lot of depth to the, to the, um, to the forest and she's left the inside blank so you can add whatever you would like to it so it's very nice Tammy I love that love it love it next up is a card from Doreen another really cool tree it says friendship is a sheltering tree isn't that the truth and look who is living under the tree look at this little tiny squirrel and she's made this little tiny grass Oh my gosh, With I don't know if she did that with scissors, she like cut little teeny tiny, oh my gosh, let me see if I can hold that up and you can see, like little, look at each little blade of grass, oh my god Doreen, you are amazing, look at that, this just adds such fun little texture to the card, and just, it's just fun, awesome, 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 just so cute. Um, the tree is on a like soft watercolor uh, decorative paper, so it just adds like a, a sky feel to it. It's very neat. She's accented it with these enamel dots that play off that same color and that background paper. It's very, very sweet. Very nice use of purples and the colors and this. This almost feels like washi tape with that's on. I don't know exactly how she did her sentiment, but that's really cool. It's different. It's almost like a tissue paper slash washi paper. You have to share Doreen in the comments how you did that so you, everyone can know. And then the inside's blank again, so you can add your inside message. I'm going to leave your note here on the back so everyone knows that you made this. But awesome, Doreen. That's so cool. I love that little squirrel die cut. Oh, my God. He is so sweet. All right. Let's see who's next. Um, this one is from Lori. These metallics are to die for. Oh my god, I love it's not the I love the mix of the foil and the embossing. This is like a gold embossing, and then she's mixed it with, and I'm gonna call it copper, and it's holographic. I don't know if the again, I I wish you guys all need to come live in my craft room uh to see all this stuff. The when you shift the card, I'm gonna try it here. It it's rainbow, so that's what the holographic means. So when it catches the light, the foil actually catches in and turns into a rainbow color. So it definitely has a holographic um, feel to the foil. But when it's in when it's not in the light, it has a very like copper. But it's it's a, it's stunning. It's a very stunning, a great another great masculine card. Um, I love the little stars up here. They're very, very, they just, they're, they're perfect to fill in that, that empty space there. Absolutely a beautiful card. And I, and I know I keep saying masculine cards. I didn't mean for this to be masculine. Um, but the, I think that it was actually a, a common thread through all of, not all, but a lot of these cards that they could be used for masculine. And that was interesting to me. And um, I don't know. So tell me what you think. Do you think that um, that's something that you reach for as trees when you make masculine cards? I did not intend that when I picked the um, theme, but it seems to have happened that way. And I just thought that was an interesting uh, happenstance. It says, wishing you the happiest birthdays. And she's added another one of those uh, metallic trees. Oh, absolutely awesome. Love it. I love the colors. I love the, the mix of textures between the embossing and the foil. Beautiful. Stunning. Awesome. Amazing. Oh, my God. As we continue on with all the textures. This one is from Kathy. Absolutely love, love, love. Um, I have no idea what the name of this paper is, but I know Stampin' Up! has come up with all these like really cool like um, scenic papers, and what a great use for this. I love it behind this die. Oh my god, what a beautiful forest scene. Stunning. Again, perfect for masculine. Like the, I just, 
I sent my dad a lot of deer cards. So that was the first thing I thought, oh my God, this would be a great like birthday card for my dad. Stunning. Love it. I love the depth that that dye, you, she popped the dye up so it, the deer really feel like immersed in the scene. And uh, it's just, and the way the paper is with the, the way they've um, photographed it or drawn it, it has that depth to it as well. It's absolutely stunning, you guys. You guys, like... You guys killed it this month. I mean, like, killed it. You always do a good job. But, like, you guys killed it this month. Absolutely stunning. I love this. I love the colors. I love the way you kind of hid the enamel dots amongst the trees. Beautiful. Um, and left it blank. So, again, you can use this for thinking of you, birthday. Um, I don't know. Just send it to your man and say, please take out the trash. I don't know. But it's beautiful. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys, like, killed it. Killed it, killed it, killed it. This next one is from Patty, and she told me a story about this card. I actually love it, just the way it is. But she um, was telling me that she really was hoping that she could inlay all the pieces, and then she wanted to pull this green piece off. And honestly, I really like this green piece on there. I think it just adds a lot to it, but she was having a really hard time getting the green piece to pop back up, so she just decided, she's like, it's not worth it, and she glued the, glued the green piece on. So you'll have to comment. Do you like the green on there, or do you think that she should have continued the fight and pulled the green off and left the tree Um uh, on there with the just leaves. I'm sure Patty would love to know. Um, I, I personally love the green. I think she made the right choice to just leave it and, and it wasn't worth the fight because I just think it adds, I, I just, it's, so now it's like an inlaid card. They're all even in there instead of, um, you know, instead of using it as like a pattern to just put, put the leaves on the tree. This is a very delicate, beautiful, die cut. It's absolutely stunning. I don't know who made it or where it's from, but it's absolutely beautiful. She's found this really intricate cord to ground this on her card. It's, it's just the perfect touch um, of detail and shine. I love the thankful. And then it says, the secret to having it all is knowing that you already do. And I love the little birds that, that tie that all together. So super, super cute, Patty. I think you did an excellent job. Um, I don't think you should doubt yourself. The green is amazing on there. So very, very nice. I, I It's really good. I think people are going to love this card. So awesome job. And let's see who's next. The next one up is from Margaret. And this, I almost thought it was the same tree. It's not the same tree. At first I like, but this one's got swirls and this one doesn't. This is from Margaret and another great use of that decorative paper. So she's layered that decorative paper to make, you know, like the tree amongst the forest. So we've got this beautiful tree in the foreground and I love these like yellow birds in there. They just, they stand up, they pop out so much absolutely love it and she's coordinated the yellow so you always do things in odd numbers so this is kind of fun one two three four five very clever margaret to use your your um you know your numbers that way and they also kind of tie back very slightly to the yellow in the tree so very very clever use of of color in this card i i, I appreciate the the tying it all together it's very well balanced and and designed um i i appreciate that a lot uh, just, just beautiful. I love, I love how that's in the foreground, and then you have this, this forest behind you, and the textures amongst the, the, the fiber and the enamel dots and the splatters in the paper. Just, just make it feel like it's fun to play, and just has a very fall and tree feel to it. It's very pretty, Margaret. Very, very, very pretty. Again, blank. That's, I love, I love that these are so versatile. So versatile. You guys did an excellent job. Oh my God. You guys are going to, I hope you guys love getting these in the mail. Um, I went a totally different route. Um, I didn't do fall. I went Christmas. I've been on a Christmas rampage trying to get some Christmas cards done because I get slammed. So I went and got my better press out, which is a little toy from Spellbinders. And, um, I better press this into some cardstock with some navy blue ink and then stamp Santa up in the sky and added some glitter accents and just went with it that way tried to making some simple simple Christmas cards I left the blank inside so you could put a religious sentiment if you wanted or you could just leave it non-religious I didn't I wanted to make it so it could go either way 
for whatever you wanted it to do. And there you go. Um, so there was my trees that were not necessarily a Christmas stamp, but I made them into a Christmas stamp. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. And I have one more card for you to share, and that is from Sherry Warner. And she went totally um, old school on this, and she did a technique called Joseph's Coat. Have you guys heard of that? It's been a while since I've done it, um, but it's just a really cool thing. So this is um, glossy cardstock, and what she did was she stamped. This is um, a stamp set called Lovely as a Tree from Stampin' Up. She took the entire card stock and colored it with all different fall colors and like a rainbow sw it doesn't really matter where the colors are just kind of cover the whole thing in like just fall colors as a rainbow thing then she stamped the trees in um a pigment ink a clear pigment ink and then she embossed them with clear um embossing ink and embossing ink resists dye based ink so then she went through and covered oh and she also did the so grateful then she went through and covered the entire piece of paper with black. And anywhere there was an embossing ink, it accepted the black ink. So then it became completely black. And then the only part that has any color is the part that had the trees and the sentiment. And you have um, just this really stunning pop of fall trees. And it's been a while. I And... Um, I guess if you if you really are interested, I do have a video on my YouTube channel of me doing this with a different card. If you really want to see how it's done, I can try to remember to link it in the video or just go to my channel and, and check it out. Um, I'm not trying to promote myself. That's not the point of this. I just, I don't know. If you're interested in it, something you want to learn to do, um, you can you can check that out there. But um, anyway, I just, I'm super proud of you for doing this because it's something that I haven't seen in a while. It's just kind of cool to see it again. Um, so very cool. The inside of the card is says for you. And I love that you did this stitch border. Just has that such cool little detail and added the colors in on the inside. Just really, really neat. You guys just, oh my God, you just did such a great, great job of, of everything. These are going to go out in the mail today. I am so sorry. They were a little late. Um, thanks for putting up with my little bit of a scratchy voice. Um, I'm so, again, I, I'm, I'm getting there. I will always get it done. I just sometimes struggle with life. I don't know if you guys ever struggle with life, but man, I struggle. Okay, next time the theme is Christmas and then December is snowflakes. I can't wait to see what you guys do. I love you all. Thanks for being so creative and I will talk to you guys soon. All right, see ya.